Hello, and welcome to Mega Machiran. Wow, it's been ages. Since yeah, we've done we we haven't done a Duke three D episode in a while. I just want to make sure. Yep. Right. Yeah, it's the most recent yeah. one. Yeah. Wow, October. Yeah. Jeez. Um. I've forgotten what we're up to. You're in a supermarket. See, yeah, we were just kind of like, I don't know, we just kind of wanted to do Undertale. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, um, so, Metroid Fusion, right? Right. Well, if any of you, if the Metal Gear Solid, um, Let's Play has gone up yet, or if any of you have watched it or anything. I'm sure uh, it gone up by now. Yeah, maybe, um... Probably, it'll probably go up in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, but the, um, the thing, like, I've been playing Metro Fusion recently, right? Um, because I got it on the Nintendo Wii for the Virtual Console. What? I don't think you shoot it. Yeah, I, okay. Well, I, I got it on the Wii U for the Virtual Console, right? And, um, and, yeah. wow. Like, that game is... Like, that game's really good. Um, but, like, it's like Super Metroid, but different. Not necessarily better or worse, but different. If that makes any sense. Um, see, in... See, Super Metroid was a very, you know, explore the area, fight the bosses type kind of game, you know? Um, with a, with a hint of story sort of thing to it. Um, which made for a really good, really atmospheric game and all of this sort of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, in Metroid Fusion, and by the way, mild spoilers for Metroid Fusion here. Nothing too serious, but, but there's, um, but if you, if you want to play the game, probably, like, skip ahead or something, I don't know. Um, Okay. But with Metroid Fusion, ahead, instead of having, um... Ah, it, it, Metroid Fusion has a lot more storytelling elements to it. Um, not like bloody Metal Gear Solid levels of storytelling. Um, but it, it actually, it, it actually takes a look at what was, what was wrong with Super Metroid and fixes a lot of the issues. Um, but not always in the best way, you know, like, um, like, cause in Super Metroid, like, you may or may not remember this, but you go up the elevator, right? And it would take forever oh, yeah. for you to go up the elevator, you know, and it, it added suspense to the game. It was like, oh no, what's going on? And when you're backtracking, it just added annoyance to the game, right? Yeah. Um, so, but in Metroid what? Fusion, what? what they did... No. Why are you fighting some guy in the grocery store? I don't know. Why are you small? What? Like what's AI. happening? What's going <laughs> on? Oh. I've, you blew him up. I literally blew him <laughs> up, and he exploded. But um, but yeah, in in Metro Fusion, right? They. Yeah. Like, the elevator isn't nearly as long, because what they do is they make it so the elevator pretty much only goes up the screen, and then they'll, like, they'll do different things with the elevator. Like, sometimes they'll make it, you know, make an event happen whilst the elevator's going. Sometimes they'll have it so that it does, like, a close-up of Samus, and and like do, does some you know story dumping sort of thing and stuff like that it gives you something to read something something to keep you engaged whilst you're um oh yeah we should have done that eh something to keep I you keep forgetting something to keep you engaged whilst you're waiting for the elevator to go right yeah um and i think that's a very interesting choice because it takes away some of the atmosphere that Super Metroid did, but it engages the player a bit more, you know? It, it gives you something interesting to see when you're going up the elevator, and when there's no events happening, the elevator's just nice and short sort of thing, you know? Um, but 
Um, but because of this storytelling, they've introduced a new mechanic, which is the navigation room, right? And the yeah. navigation room um, does does what Super Metroid kind of lacked. And in, in Super Metroid, you never really knew where to go. You just kind of wandered about in places until you found stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, in Fusion, they have these nav these rooms that are called navigation rooms. And when you go into the room, there's actually a computer that um, Samus has with her sort of thing, telling her, you know, what is going on and what to do next and all of this sort of stuff and it, 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 it's not it's not so much hand holding as it is telling you what's going on you know yeah um and making sure that you know where to go you know like the, the, there's always there's always a clear place to go it's just not always clear as to it, 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 it's not always like oh just do this you know, do this, do this sort of thing. It's kind of like, oh, there was some explosion in this sector or something like that. You need uh, to go yeah. check it out. Um, yeah. And all of this sort of stuff, um, which I think is interesting. Like, I think it's, I think it's a really nice solution to that problem in Super Metroid of where do I go? Uh -huh. um, however, I'm not too sure that. I'm not too sure that I'm fond of having, of having the extra dialogue and stuff in the game, you know, because it, um, like because really poorly executed dialogue can really ruin a game like Metroid, as we've seen with other M. But the important part about Fusion is that they actually, like the dialogue, is well written. Like it's like it's. It uses a lot of excuses similar to the way that Undertale does to keep the um, to keep the dialogue short and concise and all of this yeah. sort of stuff without having to make to add character um, to um, dialogue that otherwise wouldn't have it um, because this commander guy is a computer um, it, it's very cold and calculated you know it'll tell you um, It'll tell you things straight up and stuff like that, and you also see the relationship between um, between Samus and a computer sort of, you know, going down. Um, and it and it uses that whole oh, it's a computer to give you this idea that um, you're still alone to, to make that illusion that you that you're still alone and that no one's really helping you. Um, yeah. Which is something that I, which is something that I'm not sure if I like or not. Um, personally, I think it, uh, I think it's nice to have some indication of where to go. Um, because that no indication right now. Yeah. I I can't find the key card. You can't find the key card. You need a key card. I need a blue one. I mean a red one. This one. I think huh. I need a blue one too. Actually, there's another door that's. Oh, I need a red card. And... Red Wait, card. double music? So. You found a secret. Well, it didn't say it was a secret, did it? I think it did. What the heck is that? That was a turret, like the same sort of turret in Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Yeah. That yeah, I'm gonna run that joke into the ground. Oh, there's a place to go. Yeah. How many bullets can you take? Is that a dolphin? Oh yeah, I thought it was a shark at first. Now it's not. But but yeah, and and that's that's the thing, like. Um, Super, Met uh, Super Metroid, like, was was a very well-refined game, like, the, but it had a few flaws in it, um, and a, a lot of those flaws are addressed in Fusion. Like, for example, the ability to grasp onto a platform. Like, in Super Metroid, if you didn't land on the platform, you were screwed. You did, that's it, you fell off. Um, but in yeah. Metro Fusion, you can grab onto the ledge and climb up. But what's even better is when you climb up, 
you can actually roll into a ball as you're climbing up. Ah. So you can climb into little areas. And uh, another thing is, um, they've swapped around the um, how you obtain the weapons and power-ups and stuff. So things like morph ball jumping comes in really quick in the game, whereas in Super Metroid it came like right at the end of the game, um, which makes for which makes for a much more makes it much more interesting and versatile, I guess, um, because it's it's like you don't feel as though you know you never really feel as though you're really badly hindered, um, although. That leads me to the most important part about Metroid Fusion, right? Um, Metroid Fusion, unlike Super Metroid, makes you feel as though you... The, the, um, like, you, you know how I was saying about how they try to make it so that it's a computer, so that you, so that you, you know, you still feel as though you're on your own sort of thing? Yeah. Well, that's made even worse by the introduction of a new mechanic, and that is, um, and this is spoiler territory, um, the, what the game calls the SAX. Um, well, basically, it's a clone of you. Um, except... It's a clone of you from the end of Super Metroid. See, basically what they have is they have this... Um, they discover this new alien species that can, like... That, like, clone whatever it is they attack and stuff like that. Like, they like they kill a creature and then they can um, replicate it sort of thing. Um, and this happens to Samus. She gets attacked, but they discover that the Metroid was the natural predator of this, um, of this alien, right? And yeah. And what happens is, um, the they use, you know, what they have from the Metroid to cure Samus. But they had to like break a uh, break open her power suit and all of this sort of stuff to save her, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, and so what happens is you end up getting stripped of all of your powers as per usual in any Metroid game, um, but the alien still gets the DNA sort of thing and is able to replicate Samus at her full capacity with all of the weapons. Uh. And when you enter the, the space station, all of a sudden you realise that there's another version of you walking around that could absolutely cream you at any moment sort of thing. Uh, and so it adds to the suspense of the game where you're always, you know, you're always kind of on edge. You never know when you're going to get attacked sort of thing. Um, and rather than just going around killing all the bad guys and fighting bosses, all of a sudden you've got this extra mechanic of making sure that you stay alive when you encounter this other entity. Um, which radically changes the way that the game feels and the way that the game plays, but not so much that it's not... that it doesn't seem like a Metroid game, you know? Um, it, it's kind of like they, they were like, here's the environment from Super Metroid. How can we enhance this? How can we make this better? You know, how can we right. make this a much more engaging and interesting experience? And I think that that's an excellent way to do it. To have something that's much more powerful than you kind of, you know, strolling around trying to kill you sort of thing, you know? Lurking around in the shadows, waiting for the right time to strike. Well, and, and what's even better is Metro never makes it feel like, you know, a stealth type kind of game. Like, Metro Fusion... It kind of goes out of its way to make it still feel like an action game, but you're always on your toes sort of thing. You're always, you know, making sure that nothing unexpected happens. Mm. So, yeah, and and I, th I think it's an interesting design. Of course, then there's the one part of Metro Fusion that I hate, which is the segment... There is a segment where... Um, 
it locks you off from accessing any recharge point, which is standard for Super Metroid, but in Super Metroid, they only ever did it for a short period of time. Mm. In Metroid Fusion, they do it for like two bosses. <clears throat> what? That's bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, like you have to encounter like two bosses before you can bloody well beat before you can finally access a recharge account. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, you f- And it's like near the end of the episode anyway. Oh well, at least you solved it, right? I was going all around trying to figure out how to get that gate down. Oh, it's <laughs> a button up there. <laughs> but um, well it looks like the entire episode is going to be a spoiler for Metro Fusion. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to put the end slide at the start, call it a start slide. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and, and that was the thing I had with, um, uh, and, and, like, and even, even then, I would be able to forgive it if it weren't for the fact, like, like in Super Metroid, there's always these, like, pipe things that, um, bad guys come out of, and you can just shoot them until they're dead and then you get collect stuff from them and you can grind to get your um or you can farm more health and weapons and stuff like that right yeah um and in fusion you can do this but in that particular section of the game almost all of the enemies require either a missile or a super bomb a power bomb to um but he will destroy so if you're out of missiles you know, you you're out of luck. It's What is going on with the map? I don't know. So it's broken. Did you find the area yet? Um, I didn't find the red key card. Uh. <laughs> What's with the buttons behind that desk? Which ones? The other desk. This one? Yeah, those ah. ones. I gotta like figure out what the combination is. How do you know when you got the Ah oh. yeah, like that. Um but yeah, and that was and and having bad guys that require missiles to kill just you know just kind of, like, I almost put down the game because I got to a point where I was just like, the, the entire way, I just had no health, you know? Mm. Oh, is it the red key card? I don't know where it is. Get back to work, you slacker. Get back to get, 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 get back to work, you slacker. We're getting back to work. We're working, right? I guess this could be work. Cool. Pipe cool. bomb. But yeah, and that's and that's my my little spiel about um, Metro Fusion. Like, like the thing, like the thing with Metro Fusion is an excellent game. I highly recommend playing it. Like, it it's different from Super Metro, but it's like. Still good. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to work, you slacker. Yeah. Ah, oh, um, that's the button. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, there we go. Card. We got the red key card. All right, let's see if I can get to let's the end of the level. Let's see if we can win the, the end, end of the, of the episode, level game. Probably already 15 we can minutes. get the game of the end of the level. Oh, we can end the level. Point. There's a bad guy. Get the level enders. Drink some, to drink some water. Drink some trash can. Sure. Oh, I got expander ammo. I don't know how much of this left. Go. It would be funny if we got to the end of this level and it was like the final level. Yeah. I was just like, that's it, you congratulations, you finished the game and we would have recorded we just record one episode of it today. What's this? Oh, trash. trash compactor door. Okay. Where's the trash compactor? 
Uh, the, where's the door for the trash compactor? I got a tiny help. Maps are your friend. Who needs a map? Who needs a map? Who needs a map, Charlie? Uh, yeah, this looks like the end. Danger, danger. High voltage. I'm, I'm just gonna save because I don't know if we're gonna <clears> die at this part. <throat> oh well, end of the level. Did it. Dude! <laughs> that was some ninja not dying! <laughs> I, di I saved expecting to die from that. Hard wow. time, 3 Three minutes and 30 seconds. Your time, 31 minutes and 14 seconds. Boo. That means this level At least you killed all the enemies. Oh uh, yeah, it did too. And missed four of the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that's enough episode. Yeah, I think that episode is a done. That's enough to do for Where's the rest. Where's the spare keyboard and mouse? Here it is. This makes it easier for me to just be like, yeah, swap the episode. Ready up. Alright. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. It was a good munching run episode. How long did we go for? 20 minutes or so. Yeah, but we did a bit of recording before.